Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. And today I'm talking about what I think is maybe a couple of the most important PC gaming launches of the entire year. And they're happening right here in January of 2022. And they're also some of the more boring launches of 2022, or at least some of the likely boring launches of 2022. So I wanna talk a little bit about that today. Now, before we get into it, obviously I am talking about the RTX 3050 and the RX 6500 XT, but I do wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think about these launches just off the bat? Because I'm very fascinated to know what the PC gaming community in general thinks of them. Now, if you have not been in the loop and you would be forgiven for it because frankly, PC gaming and PC gaming tech has not been exciting for a while now. And it's not because there aren't really cool products out on the market, it's because you just can't get any of them. They're basically unobtainium right now. And that is why the RTX 3050 as well as the RX 6500 XT are so important. Just so you know, the RX 6500 XT is actually launching on January 19th, followed then by the RTX 3050 from NVIDIA launching on January 27th. Both of these cards are targeting similar markets. Uh, I believe the RTX 3050 is targeting a price point of $250, while the 6500 XT is targeting $200. And I'm going to focus a little bit here on the 6500 XT because it's caught a lot of flack in the community because it seems like AMD is just once again launching the RX 480 4GB card. Now, obviously, the 6500 XT isn't even on the same actual architecture as the RX 480. In fact, it'd be ridiculous if AMD was launching a brand new 6000 series card, it was based on Polaris. However, it is worth noting the RX 6500 XT offers about 5.77 teraflops compared to the 5.83 teraflops of the 480 4 gigabyte card. Now, very obviously, teraflops is not a universal way of seeing what GPU is more powerful, but it is notable that both cards were uh, launching at $200 prices. And that's also assuming the 6500 XT actually hits the $200 price point past day one, because if anything has been learned over the past year, year and a half, it's that the MSRP doesn't really mean anything past day one. And even on day one, it often doesn't actually mean that much. Now, disappointing specs and pricing aside, the reason these cards are so important, this is both the 3050 as well as the 6500 XT, the reason they're so important is because if they can actually stay in stock, which I am very pessimistic about, I'll be very upfront about that, I fully expect them to sell out A, very quickly, and B, not to have great stock moving forward, at least for a good while. But if they could somehow stay in relative stock, or at least even close to in stock where we got frequent drops and they weren't completely unobtainium. They're important because they open up PC gaming to new gamers that are just trying to make their way onto the platform. The big issue we have right now is not only do we not have any new cards, but all used cards right now are way overpriced. To give you some idea of that, I recently bought that GTX 970, that MSI Special Edition that I uh, looked at in my last video, which is a really nice card. And uh, especially in its day, it was a fantastic card. The 970 still holds up here in 2022 to some degree, but that card was used and still cost me over $200. And if we could get cards out on the market that can at least be obtained by people looking to build new gaming PCs, that should in theory also help out the used market where all of these used cards that are being purchased up by people that just want a graphics card and it doesn't really matter what exact graphics card it is, that should help the used market come back to earth just a little bit, which should just generally speaking, alleviate the GPU market, especially on the low end, to the degree where at least people can get up and running. And once you have your stopgap card in hand, you can wait out the higher end GPU shortage, which looks like it's gonna continue really for the foreseeable future. There's no reason right now to believe that suddenly RTX 3080s are going to be available in any kind of major quantity. But if you're just looking to get up and running on PC gaming, these entry level cards are extremely important. They are completely integral to the process and you have to be able to get a graphics card before you can get gaming on the PC platform, which is why I'm just so hopeful these cards can actually fulfill that requirement. But yeah, that's literally the entire argument I have here. 
these cards are super important because they might actually exist. I don't think they'll actually exist past launch day. But if they do, that's a really big deal for the long run. That's literally the whole argument. That's it. So like I said at the very beginning of the video, I am very interested to hear what the community has to say about these cards. I know the performance isn't gonna be great, I know the pricing isn't great, but something at this point that is at least reasonably cheap is much better than absolutely nothing. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Otherwise, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe, all those things are very helpful for the channel. And of course, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh,